And it was a big day for soccer fans who were in Western New York as they saw FC Buffalo host FC Paule in an international friendly this afternoon. And for more on this historic match, here's our own JT Messenger from All High Stadium. Saturday afternoon, All High Stadium welcomed a unique guest. In case you didn't hear, FC Buffalo hosted German second division club FC St. Pauli on the turf at All High Stadium. That means the noise, the banners, the smoke, and of course, the soccer. St. Pauli's looking good. I don't know how about FC Buffalo, though. Right now, the TSR is at its mellowest form. <laughs> and we're about to get scored on. No! The match officially finished 2-0 in St. Pauli's favor. But this day was about much more than the outcome. I don't know how we did it, so frankly. Um, the work has been incredible. Uh, just to have them here for this day was about the same amount of work as a whole season for us. So it's rewarding to have such a great crowd. Against a club with an eye on much more than the result on the pitch. For us, it is important as FC San Pauli to tour internationally because we want to spread our values to to the world and to the people who are supporting us. We won no cup so far, but we are very famous in German and international soccer for having strong values on anti-discrimination and um, um, anti-sexism, anti-racism. It's no fascism, no sexism, no homophobia, and no racism, and uh, that pretty much sums it up. We really think that this world needs to be a tolerant and respectful place for everyone. You see someone who has like the skull logo on their chest, you can be, you don't have to worry about anything, they're on your side. FC Buffalo, we, we want to be like St. Pauli, we want to be a club that people can be proud of, not just for the way we play on the field, but for how we conduct ourselves and how we represent our country and our city. And um, I mean, we're just so touched today. It's an incredibly emotional day. In Buffalo, JT Messenger, Channel 2 Sports.